Welcome back guys, welcome back to another video. Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day. Man, I don't even know where to start. So let's try to get you guys caught up as, as fast as I can. Enough talking for today. What I want to do, I want to get the transmission back on the DSM. Um, and get that thing back on the road. Um, I was having an issue trying to find the right transfer case to match the transmission that I had sitting in the closet because mine, I believe, the transmission that was on my car was a 23. 22 spline transmission or 23 spline transmission and um, I, my the, my transfer case didn't match the transmission that I had sitting in the closet so I was having issues trying to find a, a right transfer case to match that transmission but I found one so it's all good we have a transfer case but um let me try to get you guys caught up on what's going on as far as man I have a huge mess in here transmissions transfer cases parts but um check this out guys Pam. There's the block to the to the young Evo. It's all assembled. And we can start working on that as well. Let me so, go. Looking real pretty. So yeah. Um we got that done. Now we can actually start working on this. We can start putting it uh, back together and I still need um, to get the head redone. I still haven't had that. That's still sitting over there. But um, I also haven't showed you guys the last and final of these bad boys. So these came out pretty good. I like I like the how they came out. So we got those done. Gotta still throw those back on. But yeah, guys, I just I haven't been done anything. It's extremely hot outside, and I haven't done anything. But here's a more to the first gen and here's a broken transmission so there's a new transmission new transfer case old transfer case so this transfer case didn't fit that transmission so I had to find a transfer case to fit that transmission which is this one sorry guys I don't want to confuse you but yeah that's what it is so today what I'm gonna try to do I'm gonna try to get this thing so I can clear out some space I have a huge mess in here I can't even walk around I want to try to get this back in the first in the first gen so uh, can get that running again as far as now this is what I'm daily in nice little BMW 36 gets me to work in black since the DSM wanted to take a poop but um yeah guys let's get started enough talking let's hop on so I got the transmission pulled out in the mortar I'm gonna go ahead and give it a quick wash it's a little dirty so I'm gonna clean it up real quick and yeah guys I'm gonna start mounting this thing on so I gave that little, the transfer case and the transmission a good little wash up. Change the seal for the, where the axle goes in. So let's mount this trendy up. All right, guys, got the transmission on there. I'm gonna go ahead and finish bolting all the bolts up and then um, we'll get ready to drop in the car. And yeah, ooh, it's hot up in this piece. I think it's like 117 outside, so it's pretty hot out here. All right, guys, so it's currently the next day. Um, I had some issues with the, with the transmission for the DSM, so I ended up not, um, finishing that up so um a couple of issues with the transmission since so uh, these transmissions are from a first gen yes my car is a first gen but the transmission that was on there uh, is for a second gen so um I had a couple of issues with the transmission so I'm not gonna be able to finish that up just yet um, I need to get some other parts if not if I can't make it work I'm gonna have to end up getting the transmission for an actual second gen so I didn't want to uh, not do anything, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, start working on this, on this bad boy. Since uh, the Evo, I really want to get this thing back on the road already. So I want to get the the oil pump at least uh, installed. But um, before I, I do that, I have to. Um, so when you get the balance shaft, the leak kit, um, there's two shafts that go through here, which are the ones that are on the oil pump. There's one there, and the other one is where right, I already took it off. Um, so these balance shafts originally they go in here 
but when you when you get the the balance shaft to leak kit you no longer run these so you get you eliminate all that and all you run is that little baby shaft so um when you do that you have to you, you guys see these bearings these bearings right here they have a little hole at the end right there and those little holes they supply oil to these balance shafts so since we're not no longer running these we have to knock this bearing out turn it around and cover up that hole so we don't have um, any oil pressure issues the hole the, there's another there's two so there's two in this in this side and there's one here this one does not have a hole because there's a hole on the balance shaft itself on that one over there and that one is hollow through the inside and it supplies that one through that hole so I'm not gonna mess with this one since there's no hole on it but these two there's two in here that have a hole and I have to take them out um, rotate them and flip them I could reuse these if I wanted to but um, when I got the balance shaft to leak it they send you some so why not might as well use them so let's get it so there's a better I got one of them out um, you, you can there's a tool uh, that you can use to take these out but I don't have it so you can use your same uh, balance shaft um, it does mess up the balance shaft so you won't re be able to use this thing again but I'm not so I don't I don't care since it's useless to me so I just use the same thing to knock it out with the edge that it has but um yeah I mean same same uh, bearing that it, these look like the new ones so got one out and then uh, there is one more in there all right so i have those uh bearings completely out it's this side <clears throat> so both of them are completely out i'm gonna go ahead and put the new ones in see woo, light it up i'll put the new ones in and then cover up those those holes so i have that balance shaft in place i'm gonna hold it with the magnet just gotta make sure my hole is on the on the opposite side, which is, and then uh, um, I'm gonna get a, I'm just gonna get a pretty big socket. And that's what I'm All right, so I have one done. As you guys can maybe see, maybe not. I have one done in there. You just gotta be patient with it. It does take a bit of time, but you just gotta be patient with it and just keep hammering it in and until it gets in there tight. But we got that one in. Uh, you can't really see it, but it's in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this one now. I'm gonna do this one and then we can go ahead and go on with putting on the oil pumps up. <laughs> All right, so I have those, uh, Bearings in, got them done. Now I'm gonna go ahead and install the balance. All right guys, so I came, I went ahead and I came inside so I can do this. I don't want anywhere where there's dirt or whatever. So here's what your oil pump looks like. Here's your balance shaft. Here's the bolt you're gonna need. Your pulley and uh, your plug, so. All right guys, there you have it. Balance shaft done. Got your plug right there. A screw goes in there. Got your, your gear, the cap, and you have your, your, shaft, your little baby shaft in the back. Looks a lot better than having two big old balance shafts sticking out, so that's done. Time to go slap it onto the mortar. 
Alrighty, so now that I'm back out here, I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of our TV around the, where the oil pump gasket is gonna go. OEM gasket. Um, I recommend to use the OEM stuff so you wouldn't have any leaks or anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that bad boy slapped on. <clears throat> all right guys well there you have it um all these bolts don't really go all like that Right here, the, the oil filter housing goes on and then a couple other things, but I put bolts everywhere. Right here, the alternator goes, but I just put bolts everywhere so the gasket can set right. And, you know, it's since I put some Mark TV on it, I tightened up all the bolts so everything can set, set right. <clears throat> so, all around here, all around here, 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 and everything's tightened up. So yeah guys, that's it. She already looks better. At least I got something done. So, a great start to, to getting this evil on the road. So, there she is. Well guys, that's gonna be it for this video. I'm sweating bullets out here. It's really hot, 116, but whatever, it is what it is. We all complain, say, yo, it's hot, it's hot, it's hot, but Arizona what do you expect right but um hope you guys like uh, enjoyed this video guys if you guys are not subscribed please subscribe if you guys like the video please hit that um, thumbs up button and um, hit the notification bell if you so you guys won't miss a video if you guys are subscribed and I will catch you guys in the next one stay tuned next one we'll throw on the water pump we'll do the oil pan um, you know the pickup and all that stuff I got to get some parts cleaned up so we can be able to throw that on and so yeah guys hopefully you guys enjoyed the video i'll catch you guys in the next one have a good one